if you look at the big food groups, what they're clearly trying to do uh, is take any opportunity they can to take cost out. Um, if you look at a retailer such as uh, Sainsbury's, they turn over 26 billion, make just over 500 million in profit, their net margin is under 2%. That's a drop from the historic run rate of about 5%. And although Tesco's is on a recovery track, they're probably going to end up with a net margin in the two, three, three and a half percent band. On that basis, why would you pay a 3PL, a management fee, to run a distribution operation? I can't see any of the large food groups um, continuing to offer open book management fee contracts to run distribution property uh, in you know, in the medium term. As these contracts come up for renewal, they'll progressively be bought in-house. Conversely, um, there's a whole group of retailers who are trying to respond to the multi-channel challenge uh, who really will struggle to generate the capital required to do that. And as the distribution requirements do tend to push them more towards automation and this kind of technology, they'll be increasingly nervous about trying to develop this technology themselves. So I think, you know, there's a, there's a critical um, requirement beginning to generate around the provision of a much more focused multi-channel type distribution asset, possibly owned by a 3PL or possibly offered in a different way. But I think the days of every retailer saying we want to own our own property um, to do a multi-channel operation I think will increasingly end as these requirements become more complicated. I think you probably see that development in its most extreme form in the in the what you might call the Greater London area, uh, because there the shortage of property uh, and probably the imminent arrival of very large scale same day delivery for multi-channel is going to almost accelerate the pace of change. If multi-channel has been a very effective way of destroying profitability for most retailers, then same day delivery of multi-channel is an even more efficient way of destroying profit. So they're going to have to come together. You know, the only way they're going to offer services at this level of cost is probably by pooling resources, whether it's pooling transport resource or pooling property. I think within the London area, um, you're going to have the large scale development of multi-user assets and coupled with the uh, requirement probably to hit legislation requirements around clean air. So things like transshipment centers are going to develop very big changes in yard space and yard usage uh, and then the, the the sheer pressure on land which I'm sure you're all very much living with it means that distribution centres are going to have to go higher uh, and a tall distribution centre on multiple levels works fine for one client but re represents a different type of commercial challenge and a different type of operational challenge and I think the industry is only beginning to get its head around how to answer that. But I think in five or 10 years time, in the Southeast in particular, we will see the emergence of a very different kind of distribution asset.